Hey folks, and welcome back. Our next recipe, which my little yeah, buddy we... Andrew and I are going to do, is going to be jalapeno sausage. All right. From my very jalapeno sausage. Let's do it. And like all sausages that I make, it's the flavor I like. But other people may add other things. You may add more jalapenos. You may add cayenne to this. I would. And yeah. you probably would, because you yeah. like food. I like it hot. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, like, I don't it like it like that. But anyway, for this recipe, it's small amounts. We're not using the stuffer. We're doing it by hand real quickly just to show you how to do this mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. One, two, three in the kitchen. It'll take you probably less than five minutes. We're going to use pork shoulder again. Yeah. This recipe is three pounds. All right. We're doing. Let's throw that in the bowl. One I half got promoted. Cup chopped fresh jalapeno peppers, which we okay. have there. You know that. Very good. All right. Don't rub your nose after you. No. Okay. Don't. We're doing one no half cup of kosher, kosher salt. That looks like that's that stuff. Yep. Okay. Teaspoon of black pepper. Got it. Good stuff. Teaspoon of garlic powder. And that looks like that's going to yeah, be that's this one. Garlic powder, yep. Yeah. Teaspoon of onion powder. Wouldn't marry all going in the same <laughs> bowl anyway. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> yep. We're also adding one teaspoon of crushed red peppers. Okay. Right. And this recipe also calls for cheese. So it's like a jalapeno cheese sausage. But you don't have to have cheese if you're allergic to cheese. You don't like cheese. You don't like dairy products. Kind of a jalapeno cheddar. Right. But if you don't. Sure. Like it or allergic to it, don't do it. Sure. It, it, it's a matter of one's taste again. Like I say, when you're doing this, this is according to what I like, but you may do it differently. There's no wrong else. way. There, there really isn't actually, you're right. Sure. There's absolutely no wrong way. Sure. You can use a shredded cheese. It tends to melt a little or, faster. Or a cube how cheese. About we use I'm going to use that cheese. cheddar cube cheese. All right. Nice, heavier chunks that are not going to dissipate so much into the, the sausage when you're cooking it. It's fast. You can also get something called a uh, low, uh, high temperature cheese. And that's a cheese that will not melt. And that's mm. basically what they use in a lot of commercial sausages when you okay. buy a cheese sausage. Sure. Yeah. That explains so that. So to this, we're mixing it again. Mm -hmm. Mixing it thoroughly. Okay. The cheese, the jalapeno. I did not add, if you notice, I did not add any. Uh, MSG this time? MSG, you got it. I like MSG, but I didn't do it to this recipe. Okay. Very simple, I mean, you're doing this at home. One, sure. two, three, you're going to mix it. Like I said, it can be overnight, wrapped up, do yeah. it in the morning. But if you want to do this when you come home from work and you just have a taste for jalapeno sausage. Sure. So if you want to make the sausage, then you You know, you right can already away. smell the ingredients. You can, you can do smell the, the jalapeno. The spiciness of it. Yeah, that's going to be good. All righty. I've already taken our casings. Remember I showed you the casings, which is basically yeah. hog intestine. Yeah. Sounds gross, but it's not. It's a casing. That's delicious. And this one, I'm going to knot the one end rather than string right. it. A sure. tight knot. Right. I'm doing that funnel method again, or as Grandpa used to use, the old cow horn, because it's real quick and easy. Right. And basically, you're just going to stuff real quick and fast. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to create what? Some air pockets. Air pockets. Yeah. And I have my little thing here, but, well, it was here. Well, anything would work, right? Right. Knife, I, I fork. I have a little thing, but if you take it yeah. and slightly poke it. Sure. Basically, you're getting out that. Yeah. Air pockets. Okay. That's really the trick now, to it. Now, if this was a, this is a little drier because I don't have any other ingredients in there. There's you didn't add any extra fat to this one, no. right? And but we have some in the cheese. Another thing you could also right? add, and this this would work out just as well, would be a slight amount of tequila. I would probably start with that. <laughs> well, and, uh, I, I have done it, and it, it tastes <laughs> fine. And, and usually, doesn't have to go into the sausage. Well, <laughs> that's true. But yeah. usually, the alcohol so. disappears anyway in the cooking process, and you it, don't end up does. with that, right? It's not going to hurt anything. No. So on this, we'll enhance it. No. Yeah. See how fast this is? Sure. And we're back down to where we wanted to be. Dinner's almost ready, practically ready. Honey, is dinner ready yet? Not yet. <laughs> it's going to be there, darling. I'm making this sausage for you, handmade yes, sausage, right? which you don't get all the time. This is a special day because it's our 61st anniversary, and sure. I'm going to make something real special for you. So I'm making handmade sausage. So, and then I noticed it's just a very gentle grip when you're handling the sausage right. if you, because if you, you don't want it to 
break apart, nope, right? You don't. And you're stuffing it. So. And once again, yeah. we're back down to where we were. I mm -hmm. would tighten it up a little because, like sure. I said, there were air pockets in here. Yeah. And if you're making. Uh, sure, no, that's better. Sure. If you want to do small sausages. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then what happens if it, the casing tears a little bit? It doesn't really matter, right? If it tears again, right? it may burst just like a balloon. When you're grilling it or cooking it, right? It really does, though. Yeah. Yeah. And this one's the same. I would think that if you had some little perforations in there, it would let out some of that steam and it probably would hold together really well, right? Some, some people do not even do that on sausages because they feel the juices are going to run out. Sure. Now, let me ask you something. You know, you mentioned those are hog intestines. Correct. Right, but is there an alternative? Maybe some people are kind of they grossed have, out by that. Well, they, or, you know, it's not gross, it's no, very good. No, but they have, uh, sure. this is traditionally used. It's always yeah. been used. But That's what was they, around. Right, and they also yeah. use, I think nowadays, they use a vegetative type of casing. Okay. A vegetable matter casing. Okay. And collagen casings, that sort of thing. But it's rarely sure. ever used, it's always, a good old fashioned hog casing. Okay. And that's what we use. Sure. And if you want to make the sausages, one, two, three, that's yeah. all you need to do. Look at that. Those yep. are beautiful. Wasn't that easy? And that was, Fantastic. that didn't take like a few minutes. It didn't take us long at all. Not at all. A few all. minutes to do this. It's I would beautiful. like to thank also our sponsors Tishers Finer Foods in Brookfield, Blue Water Lounge, and Havlick. Woodworking company right. for donation of cutting boards, which are outstanding. They, it's very nice cutting board. Thank you. To our next segment. Hi, and welcome to Charcuterie with Uncle Greg. This is my guest Andrew today, and today we're going to be making another sausage. All right. But this time we're going to be making Italian giardiniera sausage, or sometimes they call it giardiniera. Sure. But giardiniera is what most people term it as. We're going to start off, as always, with our pork, which is get that in there. Pork shoulder we're using. For the pork shoulder, I'm going to add for this recipe three pounds of pork shoulder. Sure. We're going to be adding one in one half teaspoon of salt, kosher salt. There we go. Two teaspoons of black pepper for this recipe. We're using one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, I'm right. with you. And I think the last one we're going to do is our jardinier, which sure. is one half to one cup, depending on taste. I would probably put twice as much in that, but I'm doing sure. it on a, on a milder basis. We're going to mix it like we always do. Again, like I said, mix it thoroughly. If you want, leave it in refrigeration. You can already smell that jardinier right now. I can now. smell that, can that's you? good. It's making my eyes water entire, and my mouth water I too. I think the entire studio, would you, would you like a piece? No, I'm, no, no I'll wait, I'll wait till it's <laughs> I think cooked, thank you. the entire studio can smell this. But it, right. is, it smells really good, because I love jardinier. It's good stuff. I, I, I think it's great stuff. We're going to be stuffing it in hog casings. Right. We like, talked about there like was an alternative. Previously. But right. This is the way to do it. It's the best way. I'm doing it not in a stuffing machine. I'm using the old fashioned method. I'm using a small funnel. Sure. And what I'm going to do is just. Is that grandpa? Your grandpa used well, to do it. Oh, my that grandpa. Way, right? used to, I remember that. I really, as a little boy, and he'd be sitting there and all day long, and he must have done 50 pounds of sausage, and he didn't go real fast. He was taking his time, there's no rush. Sure. I mean, you should work fast because That's it's just it's, your style. But it's cold meat. Right? And if you're working with and you cold meat, keep it yeah, I wouldn't be doing sanitary. this sanitary. In, in, in the sun. Uh, right. It's an interesting video. In a hot house. I watched you don't want myself the other did not in the hot house or greenhouse. You know, right. Or don't do this not in, in the, the bar. tub. Probably not Don't in the do bar. it in the tub and certainly not in the sauna. It right. would not be recommended because the sausage would probably be cooked by the time he got out. That's true. Once again, what did we have here? We have... Yeah, what happens? You get those air, air pockets, pockets as I, right? But now I have my little poking stick. And? And you're just going to poke the sausage slightly. And the last time you used uh, a I knife, right? You could, use, knife, you, you could use anything, right? You can use... You don't want to use anything too wide because you'll cut the sausage you don't want a, casing. Yeah, you don't want a big hole the in the sausage. Right. So going sure. very fast with this, and it is yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. This this sucker could, like I said, Grandpa used to do rings and rings of sausage just using his an old cow horn. I uh, always remember that cow horn. Wow. And I think it came from the farm that he did it, and that's the method they used because sure. 
I mean, you have to use what you have. Well, and I don't think farmers are about to go out in the old days and spend some money on a fancy little metal funnel or anything and, else. To and they had to they figure got. out something to do with the hog casings exactly. as well, right? Yes. Now, see, you have plenty there. I could do all of this. Yeah. Now, was go this uh, invented as a way to preserve the meat? You think they started to... Sausages? In old times, they started to do that because... Well, why'd they do that? On dry sausages, they did because that would, you know, stay for a very long time. It'd okay. be dried. Fresh sausages, I think they did at the time because they had the parts of the pig and the casings, and they had the meat source. Mm -hmm. I didn't do the history on that one, so now you're asking questions I don't know about. Well, Andrew. you know, it's probably uh, they didn't have uh, Weber grills like we do now, so they probably weren't cooking nice steaks and nope. chops and all of that. Now, see how fast this is going. I mean, I did the the whole bowl and. How many minutes did we have here? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm having a good time. So, you know what they say. Yeah, time you're starting to scare me now, lad. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, now, like I say, you yeah. can do this. It's, people say, I'm not going to make that, but you can go buy it at the store. But I'm Look telling how fast you, that was. nothing tastes better than the sausage you make at home. Your I own can you. recipe, your own spin, your own twist on and it. And another. Right? Another bit of advice I'll give you, and, and, and many people do this, I even do it myself sometimes when I'm sure. coming up with new recipes, is take a little of the leftover meat mm -hmm. before you even start to, to case it into the skin. Okay. And fry it. Well, Patty, fry it, taste it. Get a little sense of what it's uh, going to Do be I need like. more salt? Do I want more hot pepper? Do I want more spice of some sort? Oh, that's a really good tip. And then yeah. you can add it, and then you can case it and put it into the, the uh, hog casing. That okay. way you know what it's going to taste like exactly. once you've exactly. made the sausage. Exactly. So That's we're back to tip. this again. We're going to... Pro tip. I don't know how, what length you like them at. Usually most people like them. Sure. Any any length will do. Well, so it all depends how you want Yeah. Some people like them like... And then you've got some more air pockets. And you're a just bun length sausage. And then I'm going to use my little bit, right? thingamajigger here. Yeah. It's very easy to do, like I say. It releases the air from the sausage. And then you don't want too big of a hole, though. No. Because when you're cooking no. them, they could build up the pressure. This is what we learned and, last time. And sometimes it'll pop. Mm -hmm. But I haven't really had that problem. I really, really haven't had that problem. So go ahead. that Tom. sausage is done. It's made, right? Let's see it. It is done. Let me just, I'll link Let's off see. this one so you can sure. know. And we'll finish the rest at a later time because we're not going to waste right. too much time on this sausage. Let's see those. But there we go. Ah, ready for dinner. It's beautiful. Ready to cook or grill? Yeah, and you could boil these. I wouldn't boil them because I think it takes out the flavor. It's not going to taste only, as good, the only right? The I ever heard of boiling was when we did polo sausage, and nowadays most people don't boil any sausages. Some, some people would boil their Italian sausage, but I'm yeah. not a fan of did that. Did you ever do that? Uh, my Italian friends did. Really? They would boil them and then fry them, but... Well, I, I agree with you. I think it would take the and nowadays, flavor it, away. I think maybe they were worried about getting it. Well, if you, you grill it, they didn't want to burn it. Maybe they want to get it cooked inside. You can also actually sure. take this, pop it in the microwave for probably a minute and a half, mm -hmm. take it out, and then pan fry it with a little, you know, yeah. olive well, oil. And so there we done. go. Yeah. And we're and done. we did the yeah. Italian jardinier sausage. I'm going to give you a quick... Run down on this, it's three pounds of pork shoulder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. One half to one cup of jardinier to taste. I also did not add MSG. This, once again. I did not add it. You can. We love it. I love it. But yeah. It's personal preference. Sure. We will continue on to our next one. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. All righty.